Amen. Kwa hivyo leo ni siku ya Jumapili. Unapokuja hapa, whenever you come here, Mungu yeye tayari. God has already. Huwa umetayarisha neno. Has prepared a word. Kwa ajili ya sisi sote. For the sake of all of us here. Tusikie. That we may hear. Tujue Mungu anatakaje. That we know what he wants. Sasa letu. Now our thing. Sisi kuweka masikio kwake ule. Just to open our ears towards the, the speaker today. Atuambie. That he may tell us. Mungu anataka tukaeje. How does God want us to stay? Tufanye nini? What do we do? Neno limetungwa kwa mtumishi wa Mungu. The word has been sent into the Neno limetiwa ndani ya mnenaji. The word has been put inside the, the speaker. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Kwa hivyo, Therefore, hatuna sababu we don't have any cause ya kumchelewesha mnenaji. Tumpe nafasi mapema. Let's give him this opportunity to speak to us. Awesi na sisi. He may be able to speak to us. Kadiri Mungu atakavomjalia. According to how God will enable him. Naomba tuinamishe vichwa vyetu. Let's now bow our heads. Baba ninakushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu mbingu na nchi. Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi katika mtumishi wako Bwana. Ninakushukuru Mwokozi mwema kwa ibada njema ambayo umetayarisha Bwana mchana wa leo ili ikaweze kutufaa. Baba ninakushukuru kwa kila uliyemleta. Naamini Mungu wa mwanzilishi hukumleta bure, ulimleta ukiwa na sababu ya kuweza kumuokoa. Baba ninakushukuru tazama ibada hii na ifungua mikono ni mwako nikiamini Mungu wa mwanzilishi uko pamoja nasi na utatulinda Bwana na kutupa ule usikizi ule umema jina lako litukuzwe ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo mokozi wetu amen 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 Asante bwana Yesu. Asante bwana Yesu. Thank you. Asante bwana Yesu. Thank you Lord Jesus. Karibu Pastor Rimba. Welcome Pastor Rimba. Uja unene na sisi. So that may speak to us. Sisi tuko tayari. We are quite ready. Tunakushikiliza tu. We want to listen to you. Nena kila neno ambalo Mungu wa mwanzilishi. Speak every word that the God of the Father is giving you. Karibu pastor. Welcome pastor. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Furani kubwa. We are so grateful. Kwa Mungu wetu mama mwanzilishi to our God of the founder mother kwa maombi ya mtumishi wake ametulinda by the prayers of his servant he has secured us ametuleta pamoja tena asubuhi ya leo and he has brought us together again this morning Jumapili njema it is a good sunday ya baraka nyingi of many blessings amen amen Vua the rain ni baraka is a blessing and Mungu amependa. And that's exactly what God wants. Lakini Mungu ametupa nafasi. But God again has given us an opportunity kuja pamoja to come together. Bwana yeye ndiye alisema msaidie kukusanyika pamoja. Because he is the one who said forsake not to gather together. Na mvua ni yake. And the rain comes from him. Yeyemenyesha kweli usikukucha. That's why it has rained all overnight. Lakini ametupa nafasi. But he has given us a chance. Masaya kuja kanisani. These hours we come to church. Ametupa nafasi tukasafiri tumefika salama. He has given us an opportunity to travel and to come to church safely. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Tena tunashukuru Mungu ambaye amwanzishi kwa maombi ya mtumishi wake. And again we are grateful to the God of the Founder Mother by the prayers that we serve. Kwa kuwalinda wanakwaya safari yao for protecting the choir members in their Ata journey. Atarudi salama leo usiku saa 8. And again they have come back safely at 2 o'clock. Amen. Amen. Wametembea huko milima ya Arusha. They have traveled there in the mountains of Arusha. Jana wetu nation. Our brother nation. Chombo kikubwa kile. Very big vessel. Lakini Mungu amwanzilisha amemtia nguvu. God of the founder mother has strengthened him. Mabonde na milima. Mountains and valleys. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the prayers of the servant of God, Emmanuel Kiamzo. They have been secured and brought back safely home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is not an easy thing. It is God who has been together with them. Because the servant of God prayed. And again, we are grateful to the God of the Founder Mother for the growth that the choir is growing. They went, but there was never difference behind. It's like the guitar players are there and the drummers are also there. Keyboard is played, there is a guitar, there is a bass and solo and everything. Amen. Amen. I don't know how you saw it. Those who were left behind were strengthened to sing. There wasn't a difference. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Showing that they are moving ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is not like before where they went. And then the church remains silent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are grateful to the God of the Founder Mother for the prayers of his servants. That is to show we are moving ahead. Hallelujah. 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 So while I'm here, it's like a turn boy. I'm along the road and the driver says you take the truck. Then you drive it, it's carrying a very heavy load. But you are careful not go to the bush. Amen. Amen. You are driving it with a lot of worry. But then you reach a point you want the driver to come on board. That's exactly how my spirit is. Hallelujah. 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 Mana. Because. This work was given to the servant of God, Emmanuel Kiamzungu. He's the one who was given the road. We are here with Elder Zia here. But our great joy is for the servant of God. That God may strengthen him. Hallelujah. The one who began the work. That the bones may be strengthened. That he may hold on the steering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are turn boys or helpers. But then you are driving. Amen. Amen. You reach a point. You're asking, where is the driver? So let us pray to God. And we believe God has begun the work. And he continues to strengthen him. And this Christmas is going to preach more than before. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Kabisa. Surely. So, because of the much joy that he has, he is giving you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Amen. You're driving the truck truly. But you are so careful. You reach a point, you're asking, where is the driver? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have been brought. He is always given. And he repays. And he repays. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read for us from the book of Genesis, chapter 28. If you see in your life, you are hungry for something. You are hungry for salvation somewhere. You are hungry, or you are hungry to be released somewhere. And that place is not yet released. It's not that God does not talk to you. The word to save you is very close to you. But the devil is giving you to forsake the, the voice of God and gives you to seek for other things. The really voice of God you forsake it. And then you are diligently taking other voices. That's why you say you're not going to the preach for salvation. But if you can be enabled to come to the voice of God and to be commanded in the word of God. And God is not far away from you. Salvation is not far away from you. Sanctification is not far away from you. Your peace is not far away from you. Amen. Amen. Very close to you. But the devil will always give the people of God to forsake the word that can save you. And he tells you this is not the case. And inside your soul, God is talking to you. Now he gives you to look for other big things which maybe you think that they are the ones which are holding you. And there is a very small place God is talking to you. There is a finger that is pointing to you. You. But the devil is giving you to forsake this. Then he says this cannot be the trouble. So you can go back confessing all the big curses, but then you're for second salvation here. So if you're unable to obey the voice of God, if you're unable to obey the voice of God, you are unable to obey the voice of God exactly how it talks to you, then salvation is not far from you. Hallelujah. Very close, very close to you. And he says right in your mouth. It's not far away. You may say who will go there. It's not in hell. Who will resurrect and bring me the word? But the word to save you is very close to you. Right in your mouth. But the devil gives you to forsake that. That's why he says, once you hear the voice of the Lord, and then you obey exactly what he commands you, the diligence in what he's commanding you, then this blessing and this salvation in your house, in your field, or instead your body, it will come to you. And and overtake you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not far away. Deuteronomy 28. Itakuwa utakapo sikia sauti ya buwana mungu wako. Kwa bidi kutunza kuyafanya magizo ya keyote ni kuwagizayo leo. Ndipo buwana mungu wako atakapo kutukuza juu ya mataifa yote ya duniani. Na baraka hizi zote zita kujilia na kukupata usikiapo sauti ya buwana mungu wako. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, once you hear the voice of the Lord your God, and diligently you observe to do all the commandments that he commands you today. It's not yesterday. Today, what is he saying to you? Okay, yesterday, you confess that and that and that. So many self-people have spoken so many things. But he's saying today, if you are going to hear today, 
Forget about yesterday. What is he talking to you today? Amen. Amen. What is he talking to you today? Even when you're thinking, and this problem, when am I going to get salvation? There is no money a finger pointing at you. Now that sin, when you sit down and meditate, I've been serving God here and there and there. Then how do people serve until they are blessed? Then you see there is a voice coming to you. Amen. Amen. But the devil is telling you, no, that is the voice that I have not fulfilled, that's why I'm not getting this good. And all those great things I've done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because our God is not unjust. Our God is not unjust. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He called us for good. He called us for life. He called us for blessings. He called us for peace. And we are his children. And he's saying he's thinking good of us. Let us have hope at our end days. But the present were human being is forsaking the word of God and looks for his own word. That's why you see many saved men are wandering around. If he hears there is a trumpet being blown here, he's running there, maybe I'll get my salvation there. Or maybe you hear people playing the drums this side, you are running there. And you are going to go around all that places. And it's not that salvation is that side of the There is a place God is pointing at you. Amen. Amen. So if you are unable to obey the voice of God, exactly what is he saying? And even this morning, you are coming from your house. Coming here. You, are, you are coming to church. How do you offer your arms? You are coming to church. How are you offering your tithe? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Forget about yesterday and the other day. He's saying about today. All his commandments. If you will be able to hear and obey them. That's the time all this blessing. That's why all the lies. That's why all the, the peace. That's why all this salvation will come and overtake you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It is at home or at the field or you are baking. He said all blessings will come to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So one day I was sick with syphilis. I can eat the whole week. But then I cannot relieve myself. And when it comes, it is in problems. Through pain. What is it? I have confessed many curses. I have confessed I'm not shameful. When I go to the founder mother, I used to go there. I tell her, Mama, I'm in problems. Amen. Amen. I'm persecuted in this way. Time after time. Then she told me you'll be healed. If I look around, if it is about sin, ah, no. Then which one am I ashamed of? But by far, there is a finger pointing at me. He's telling me, this is now a rock tied around your neck. Then what if it is this that is not getting healed? The Bible is saying, because you misled the young ones, then a grinding stone will be tied around your neck and be thrown to the beam. So by far, a finger is pointing at me that you misled some people. But then I don't take it seriously. That word misleading, I don't take it seriously. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm repeating, confessing the curses concerning my close family or close relatives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And many, many, many others. Which when even you speak to the preacher, so quickly he'll tell you, close your eyes. But then why am I not healed by Jesus? But then by far, that a finger is pointing at me, you misled people. Then what's the meaning of this? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Ndio kuuma kulipo kuja ile ndio nipone. So that pain or that sickness that came to me that day the healing. Tatu sitoke kwa nyumba. I slept down or I was down for three days without getting up. Hata hiyo sauti ikaja kwa nguvu sasa. So now the voice came to me very strongly. Unaona mama mengi lakini wewe ulikosesha. You have confessed so many things but you are misleading here. Sika sone za kawaida. This is not an ordinary syphilis. Ni pigo maana ulikosesha wengi. It is because you misled so many people. Na nimezungumza nawe. And I've been talking to you. Neno hili ulichukulia uzito. And you don't take this one seriously. Amen. Amen. Ah. So, I was unable to obey that voice. I was keen. Landani. My, my spiritual ear misleading. So now it was brought to me. The way I misled so many people. Amen. Amen. Neno kukosesha. The word misleading. Hukumu inakuja. The judgment was coming to me. This is not an ordinary syphilis. It's because you misled people. Wadogo wasio na hatia. The small ones which are not very innocent. Then you made them to be guilty before God. Na nikaonyesha wengine hata wamekufa dhambini. And I was shown others who even died in sin. Ni vijana wenzangu. They are my fellow youth. Ni majirani. Or my neighbors. Sasa niliwakoseshaje? Now how did I mislead them? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio nikaletewa picha ya nyuma. Now the picture came to me. Kama ile kusudia muda uliopita as i testified to you the other time mama alikuwa na family planning ya mungu mwenyewe that my mother had a family planning a plan from God. Wapate mtoto. every after three years she was Aya getting a child kazaliwa. so i was born ni unyonye mpaka hata watembea mpaka wauma meno hayo matiti so you are sucking until you begin walking until ufanye, you are fighting the breeze mpaka mpaka apake matiti pilipili until she apply some hot paper around the breast ndio sasa uachishwe that the time now you will Haya amezaliwa mdogo wangu. So my young or now my young brother had been born or my young my sibling had been born. Akaaga ni mchanga. Then she died. Baada ya sijui mwaka mmoja. After maybe one year. Haya. Sasa imebaki mimi ndimi mtoto mdogo. So I was again remaining as the smallest young boy. Amen. Amen. Haya nikawa hivyo. So I continued that way. Kaja apata ndugu zangu wengine. Then I got my siblings again. Baadaye akapata mwingine. And again she got another one. Sasa nikaja nikashikwa na na hali za udhaifu then some weakness came to me ikawa mara nyingi siambiwi si niende shambani so at many times i was not told or instructed Nikijana to go to the field. Muji, i was a young man muji at home muji and my village was so big haleluya haleluya sasa wa mama wameenda shambani so our mothers had gone out to the field mimi siendi shambani and I, i don't go to the field kwa vile nilikuwa nimeshikwa na ugonjwa ni mdhaifu because i was suffering i was sick sasa naachwa nyumbani so i'm left at home Haleluya. Haleluya. Na kila boma imeacha watoto, watoto. And watoto. in every house there are children who are left behind. Wadogo wadogo na ndugu zao wa humo. And their brothers are also there. Sasa mimi katika hao mimi ndi mkubwa. So uh, out of all them, all of them I'm the one who is a bit big. Haleluya. Haleluya. Tumeacha hapo vijana. So we were left there. Kwa wakike wa kiume. Boys and girls. Sasa mimi shetani akanipa werevu. So the devil gave me some cleverness. Haleluya. Haleluya. Kwa kukosesha hao wadogo wadogo. To misguide the, the young ones. Wakati huo kulikuwa miembe inazaa maembe. Those days there were so many mangoes. Tena hapo kando kando ya muji kuna mapori and close to our home there was a bush. Kuna tunda hii Victoria hivi. There was this bush uh, wild fruits. Sasa mimi nitadanganya nimeona sungura. So I will deceive them that I have seen a hair. Nimeona sungura. I have seen a hair. Twendeni tukaone sungura. Let us go and see the hair. Na lengo langu and the idea is ni kuwashirikisha hawa waingiliane is to make them wengine ni ndugu moja. Then there are some they are really good brothers na baba mdogo lakini ni vijana wadogo wadogo. They are all young boys and girls. Hata mimi ni commander. So I'm the commander now. Amen. Amen. Na watanisikia wasisikia. And they are all going to listen to me. Why not listen to me? Hata wawe wa jinsia moja even if they are from one gender na kusudia kukosesha I'm just saying to you na mimi ni commander na wasimamia wewe fata huyu na wewe fata yule na commanding wewe fata them yule, you go to this one go to this na, one and go to this one. and there is no refusing alafu nawaambia and then i tell them keep quiet na hakuna mtu atasema and there's no one to speak about it amen amen alafu natoka and then i leave them So mama wakija jioni. So when our mothers come in the evening. Salama, they find us we are so safely. Lakini tumefanya maovu mengi. But some evil things have been done. Na hawakuwa na mawazo hayo hawa. And they never had that idea. Hata saa moja. Even at one hour. Wameachwa. They were left. Hawawazi hayo. They were never thinking about that. Lakini mimi nimewafanya wafanye yasi. But then I have made them 
They have, I have met them to do that. I was picture. So now the picture came to me. Wengine, Truly some, maradhi, hata they had diseases, in fact, they passed on. Waliolewa, some were married. Huko and they had so many problems there. Waliohai, uzima kamili. Even those who are alive, but they are Asa not properly healed. So that flashback came to me. Damu zawale ziko juu yako. Now the judgment came to me that the blood of those people is upon you. Because they had never had the idea to commit Dio sin. Mana juu la That's why now a rock is tied Dio around your neck. Wanaomba. That's why preachers are praying Kasi and syphilis is not getting healed even though you have confessed so many things dambi ya but this sin of misguiding ah. so that judgment came to me so harshly and God enabled me to accept it it was on a Thursday so many preachers that come to me to pray for me I have repeated confessing the same sins but then the problem was still insisting but when it came to Thursday that judgment came to me then I felt a lot of condemnation to the point of crime the board was aching amen then I said, this is true. A rock is tied around my neck. Now, I'm asking about that people. Some of them are Gentiles. They have never Na come to salvation. Hukumuni. And those who died, they went before judgment. I'm thankful to God and the Founder Mother kuti, who enabled me to obey sauti, that voice, hukumu, that judgment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then I felt like kneeling down. Very, very, very remorsefully. There was a footpath inside my plot. But then I felt so remorseful. Even that pain I was feeling, I didn't feel it. I began weeping and crying, even those who are passing that did not hurt me. I'm not crying because of the pain. Then I'm shown about the people I misguided. You forgive them. Even those who died, you forgive them this sin. Which they did and I'm the one who made them to do it. So you wrap that sin because truly they never had the idea to do it. Judge them with other things but not this sin. I'm confessing on their behalf that you forgive them those sins they committed because of mis my misguiding them because they never had that idea. If it is judgment of not going, not going into the kingdom, they should not go because of other reasons. Wale wale hai, and those who are alive, Mungu wa may you forgive them also uaponye, and heal them. Tena and again, you save them kule wherever they may be. Nili, I pray for about one hour. Tena kwa machozi, paka pale Very chini. tearfully. Kulikuwa hakuna simiti, there was no flow down there. Machozi, pale. But then the, the soil was. Sipa ule uchungu because not because of the pain that I'm feeling some remorsefulness came into my heart then forgive me of this sin of misguiding so that you can untie me of that rock around my neck after one hour I was there down kneeling. I felt some coldness in my body. I felt some coldness. It was about 12 noon. In fact, I was not able to come here on Wednesday. And preachers had come here on Monday. Pastor Changoda and Pastor Msololo. I had confessed the same curses again. But I never spoke about this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is there, but then I never spoke it. But when they left, it came to me again seriously. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the second day, so I've confessed the same thing many days. So after that being so remorseful and a lot of repenting in my heart, I felt some coldness in my heart. It was like ice cold was being poured on my body. Then I was surprised, what's this? So that means forgiveness and healing had entered. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I stood up from that place. I felt that my body was cold. So the fight had now cooled down. 
Ilifika saa kumi na moja na nusu. So come to 5:30. Ilikuwa ni elfu mbili kumi na yene. That was in 2002. Na fikiri. 2014. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saa kumi na moja ilifika. At about five o'clock. Nilivaa nguo nikaja kanisani. I dressed my clothes and came to church. Ibada ya maund. That was the day of prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na huo ukawa ni uponyaji. And that was now the the healing. Paka leo. Even today up to today. Hallelujah. 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 Hivyo vita hivyo so that fighting ndio nilihakisha kutoka siku hiyo. That's why God assured us from that. Wewe, if you kuna mahali hujapata haja ya moyo. There is a place of not got your desire. Kuna mahali shetani anangangana. There is a place uh-huh. the devil is struggling. Tulia. Then be calm. Kuna sauti pale. There is a voice there. Kuna kidole pale. There is a finger there. Pepo anakupa kuona hiyo. But then the devil is giving it to see as nothing. Watafuta yako mingi. Then you are seeking for your own thing. Kwa kusema kweli, by speaking the truth. Nilipokelea kuti kuti sauti hiyo. When I was unable to obey that voice. Na kukubali kule moyoni. And to accept in my heart. Dhambi ya kukosesha. That sin of misguiding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, jiwe hilo. Oh that rock. Jiwe hilo. That rock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu alifungua. I think Jesus untied it. Uko kilindini nikaja juu. And from the deep I flowed. Hata leo bado nikitubu Mungu anendelea. And even today I'm still repenting that for God for Christ. That he may fulfill. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nikaona zi I got some coldness. Ndio mimi nimepona misiba mimi mimi. That's why I've, I've had so many calamities. Na nimehakisha ya kwamba and I've been assured that. Kwa Mungu huyo ama mwanzilishi. To this God of the founder mother. Uzima uko. There is life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Neno kukosesha. So the word misguiding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Umanamuke kweli. You are a woman truly. Kweli. You are a girl truly. Lakini ukisimama kando ya wavulana wa watu. But when you stand at the side oh, of boys. Wa, wanaume wa watu. Or maybe some other men. Hapo ndo unajikalia ovyo ovyo. That's the time now you sit in a lewd way. Hata hujijali. You don't care about yourself. Amen. Amen. Dhambi ya kukosesha. So this sin of misguiding. Walenga kuna wanaume. You are aiming at a place they are men. Tu, and that the devil. Anakupa kuacha vifua wazi. Who is giving you to leave your chest Akupe open? Akupa kukaa miguu juu. Or makes you to to sit anyhow. Anakupa uiname visivyo. Or maybe you bend in a way that's not right. Amen. Amen. Hata mtu alikuwa hawazi mabaya. Even someone was never thinking of anything pale, evil but from there. Hata zungumza na wewe. Lakini anaenda kutafuta mabaya aingie. But then he is going to enter into evil things. Na hata mchana huu angefanya mabaya. And even that day he would never do any evil thing. Kwa wewe. But because of you. Una hali ya kukosesha. You have a way you have incited him. Ndio utaona. So you will see. Unajivunia mimi siku wa mzinifu. You are proud that you are never for Nikita. Mimi siku wenda Mombasa kule. Then I never went to Mombasa. Mimi mwembe gani kule. I don't know which place. Wajivunia. You are proud of that. Maana una alama za kasende. Because you have signs of syphilis. Ni mapigo ya kukosesha. Those now are calamities of misguiding people hallelujah 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 msichana watu hata hawazi mabaya a girl is never thinking of anything evil lakini wengine walikuwa kazi ya kutongozea ndugu zao wa kiume wasichana but some were seducing girls for their brothers hata mwana wa watu hawazi mabaya. So this daughter is never thinking of anything evil. Wewe hutaki mvulana. But don't you want a boy? Ndugu yangu fulani. Oh my brother so and so. Hata alikuwa hawana nia hiyo. She never had that idea. Lakini umfanye mtu wa watu. But then you make that someone. Hata dhambi ingie moyoni. Until that sin goes into her heart. Mabaya, until she goes to commit that evil. Hayawazi. Which she was never thinking. Hata hukumiwe dhambi ya zina. Until she's con- condemned of fornication Hayo or adultery. Ya so any disease that comes to him. Zikimujia, any judgment of sin is coming to him. Then to you it will be double times. Ijapo hukuenda huko. Even though you never went there. Hallelujah. 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 Paka utakapotuba until the day you repent. Inaitwa dhambi ya kukosesha. That is the sin of misguiding. Amen. Amen. Basi sauti ikaja. So the voice came to me. Sauti ikaja. The voice came to me. Ilikuwa inakuja hapo nyuma la kisi yoni. It was coming initially but then I was never taking it. Nzito, 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 nzito. I was only confessing the very heavy scarces. Nionazo hizi ndio sababu za kuzileza kuleta mabonde. Those are the I was saying that the reasons which are making me say. Hizo zote nimenena. Now I've confessed all of them. Hata sioni aibu kuzisema. And I'm not ashamed of speaking Lakini them. Lakini kuna kidole wewe ulikosesha. But there is a finger that you misguided people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sauti hiyo. So that voice ikaja kwa uzi 
mzito came to me so strongly hallelujah hallelujah nami namshukuru mungu mama mwanzi and i'm grateful to the god of the founder mother ndio mimi nimehakikisha that's why i have a sure god that so na huingii katika mema if you see you don't go into the good thing usibure it's not in vain baraka ziko the blessings are there uzima uko life is also there amani iko peace is also there ni wewe unakata sauti but then you are refusing the voice ni wewe kuna mahali hujaagizika there is a place you have not been instructed anasema he saying utakaposikia sauti ya bwana mungu kwa bidii once you hear the voice of the lord you are god very diligently yale ya kuagizayo leo exactly what is commanding hey, you today okay yesterday you spoke about that and the other day you gave Na that vile. and the other day you also Lakini gave that leo. but then today if you're bwana. going to hear the voice of the Anasema lord you are nini he is what is he talking to you leo today hallelujah hallelujah leo today leo anasema nini today what is he talking hallelujah hallelujah sasa waacha haya leo haya so you are forsaking that we are hearing Una today na jana. and you are counting the things of yesterday and the day before yesterday sasa mungu atujalie so god enable you atujalie may god enable us the diligence in observing obeying the voice of god obeying exactly what the voice is instructing Baraka you ziko. the blessings are there kupona kuko healing is also there amani iko and peace is also there lakini shetani anawapa watu wa mungu but the devil is giving the people of god cha ile sauti to forsake the voice kutoenenda kwa ile agizo not going according to the voice anawapa kuhesabu miaka so you begin counting your years na masaa and hours Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Na hiyo ni kweli jamaa. And that is very true. Kweli kabisa. That's very true. Nikasikia mwili zi. So I felt some coldness in my body. Nikaona nimepata nguvu za kuja kanisa. Then I see that I saw that I was getting strength to come to church. Paka leo bado ni kitubu. And even today I'm still repenting. Paka leo. Even today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dhambi ya kukosesha. The sin of misguiding. Amen. Amen. Dhambi ya kukosesha. The sin of misguiding. Na hata ni Biblia inasema hivi. And in fact the Bible is saying Watoto that. Watoto baba na mama. The children should obey their fathers and mothers. Pate heri mkae siku nyingi. That they may be blessed and stay, live long. Lakini hapo chini anasema. But down there he said. Nani akena baba? And you fathers na akena mama ni. And you mothers also. Usiwakoseshe watoto wenu. Do not mislead your children. Mwana anaheshimu babake. The child is honoring the parent or the father. Ukileta unga mama anajua ni baba amempa baba mama pesa. If you bring flour they know that is mwana given mwana akisema anataka kalamu so when the child says he wants a pen anajua ni baba amempa mama hela. He knows that it is the father was given money to a mother. Baba akija wanajua baba ndiye anampa mama hela. So when the father comes you know that it's the father who gives money to a mother. Kumbe ni wewe ndio unatafuta and it's you who is looking for that money. Ndiye baba hana 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 uzito wa kujali nyumba inakaaje. Maybe the father has no source of getting anything. Hiyo ni siri yako. Oh, that is your secret. Lakini utaona mama ndani ya nyumba. But then you find you are a mother inside the house. Wataka kalamu. You want a pen. Kama si mimi. If it's not me. Kama si mimi. If it's not me. I don't know how you go to school. If it were not for me. I don't know you how you go. If we were not for me. You will die hungry. Your father not bring anything here. Have you have you ever seen him bring anything? Watoto wanaona kile unachokileta ni baba. Then the children are saying that whatever I bring is from the father. So they are honoring their father. Wanajua mama kila aletacho. They know whatever our mother brings home. Ni mama, ni mama amepewa pesa na baba. He, she must have been given money by our father. Amen. Amen. Sasa unaanza kuatia chuki sasa. So you begin putting them Dambi hatred. Ya that is the sin of misguiding. Unaanza kuatia chuki sasa. You are now beginning to put hatred into them sasa. and bitterness. Kumbe mama bila ba, kama si yeye tungekufa So if it were not for our mother we'll die hungry. Hiyo ni siri yako. Now that is your secret. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Utaona watoto? You find that the children wanaanza kukosa masomo beginning to not to study masomo well, zinawaondoka the understanding of studies goes away from them kukosa amani na baba yao because they begin lacking peace with their father kumbe hivi kama si mama so if it were not for our mother tungeenda tupu we wouldn't have we wouldn't have anything tungekosa nguo we wouldn't be clothing kumbe kila aletacho hapa ndani mama so whatever our mother brings home bibi yake it is her diligence sasa huyu baba ana faida gani so what the benefit of our father here utaanza kuona hata baba yao so you find that the children walikuwa wakimchangamkia kama akisema hodi they were never they were always cheering whenever he knocks baba akisema hodi now today when he knocks hata wanaangalia chini in fact they are facing down ni nini watoto wangu what the problem my children haven't you eaten eh hatujala yeah we have not eaten na wamekula 
And they have written. We never had lunch in the afternoon. Yeah, we never had lunch. They are saying that with a lot of bitterness. Do we eat? Have you brought anything? It is our mother who brought. If it were not for our mother, so why are you asking us we have eaten? And at the beginning when they saw, when they saw fly, they know it's coming from the father. Now you have killed your children. So tomorrow you find they are scratching themselves. You tell them go and confess your curse. Truly they have a curse of Hating their father. But that curse wouldn't come to them. Wakosesha. It is you who misled them. So any calamity coming upon them, then to you it will be more. Because you are the one who misguided the young one. And the father the same. You are abusing the mother before the children. Your mother has no understanding. I saw it at home there. In Chonyilan, the boys have to listen to their father. And girls listen to their mother. And truly, our father used to say this openly. That you listen to me. Do not listen to your mother. So at home there, you see a boy. Honoring the mother is not easy. Because we are, we are always told that we should not hear. She's Baba a woman. We have to hear our father. So you may think that the mother is instructing someone. His, his boy or his child. And he may refuse. But when the father says that boy will go running. He's fearing that my father may beat me. And it is the father who is misguiding them. The sin of misguiding. Amen. Amen. It is there even tomorrow. In this world. Africa. In this Africa. Hallelujah. 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 One day I was working with the Europeans. In Kilifi, whenever I closed the school. I would look for employment somewhere to, to do. So I was working with an artisan in a, in a, in a European house. They had two children, a girl and a boy. Haya. Okay. I don't know what I've been taught to do in that room. And it was still in the morning. I was taught going to that room. I don't know what to look inside there. So they are, they are big children. The boy is a bit big. And the girl is also big. But they were given one room. This one is bed this side and this one is bed this side. To the European, that one is okay. They were brought up that way. They consider themselves as siblings. And they cannot do anything evil. So they're honoring each other. They are counting each other as siblings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So even if they sit naked to them, that's nothing. This is your sister. Amen. Amen. They are walking along the beach together. So in their culture, to them, hiyo, hiyo that is nothing to them. But you see an African, ati, ati, ati anaiga, anaiga you are pretending to, okay, you are copying from the white yeah, man. Na ya 40, 40. Okay, you know English, 40, 40. You are telling your children to sleep together here, there is no problem. Ingeresa, hayo. Because you went to a white man, you saw that. Na ya America, masomoni, sasa and because you went to America, Utoona, to study, you are copying them. Kesho. Then tomorrow you find all of them have become Alafu, mad. Then you are asking, how, how has this man come kosesa. to my children? You are the one who misled them. You are putting them together in one room, boys and girls. And when a woman sleeps, during the night when she is in deep sleep, Amen. Amen. Any mother during the sleep, when you are in deep sleep, Amen. Amen. Then you sleep. Okay, now she is asleep. And the brothers now woken up. Because normally at night the, the sleep may go away. Then to the white men, that is nothing because they are siblings. Maybe in their culture that is okay. But then the devil does not know a white man. Are they, do, they, do they not fall sick? Amen. Amen. So tomorrow you find all your children are lewd. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Wasema ni ndugu moja. Then you're saying they are brothers or siblings. Wa, wana nini? Then what's the problem? Usifanye hivyo. Don't do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Naitwa dhambi ya kukosesha. That is now the sin of misguiding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tafumba jiwe la shingoni anasema Biblia. Uone uko kilindini. Then you find yourself in the deep. shida hizi kwa nini hazitoki? Then you surprise why are these problems not going away? Na Mungu anakuota kidole. And God is pointing at you. Hallelujah. 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 Sawa sawa baba it is just equal to mama anaenda safari the mother's gone on and is traveled una mwanao wa kike then you have your girl there yeye ana miaka 10 maybe she's 10 years old au miaka 11 na mmoja or maybe 11 years old amekoma she's now ripe sasa ameshikwa na homa now she's sick hallelujah hallelujah na mama hayuko and the mother is not around umwambie njo ulale huku maana ni Mana wataka hati umuangalie vizuri. So you want her to sleep there with you because you want to nurse her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ulale karibu naye. You want to sleep closer to her. Mana ni mwana wa kike. Because she's your girl. Na mama hayuko. And the mother's not around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sasa sijui usiku aweza kutaka maji ya kunywa. Or maybe during the night she may want Aya, water to drink. Aya toka kwa ulale huku. Okay, come out from your room and come sleep with me Una here. Una mtandikia godoro. Then you are putting a mattress there. Chini hapo kwa rumu yenu hapo. Instead you are room there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh ni mwana wa kike yeye. Okay, she is your girl. Akilala amelala. When she sleeps she's asleep. Ndio wasikia kana baba wameingilia watoto wao. That's the time you hear fathers have gone to their daughters. Amen. Amen. Umemkosesha huyu? You have misguided her. Ah oh, wewe nawe utalala? Oh maybe you are asleep. Na wewe umelala. And then you are asleep. Utapiga mabomu humo ndani ya nyumba. Then you begin blasting there inside the house. Maji unatupa mawe majini. Boo. You are throwing stones in the waters. Atakudharau ile mwisho. Then she's going to despise you to the extreme. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bani huko aliko? Where she is? Akitaka maji si ataitana baba ndio nipe maji ya kunywa. She will call you father come and give me some water to drink. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dhambi ya kukosesha. The sin of misguiding. Iko iko iko. It is there. It is there. Haikuandikwa hapa bure. It is not written here in vain. Si wakoseshe mdogo. Do not guide them the young ones. Tafungwa jiwe la shingoni. A rock will be tied around your neck. Mungu wewe unazungumza. The voice of God is talking to you. Mimi niliponya sauti hiyo. And that voice healed me that day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh hey, umetoa vikubwa vikubwa okay, vikubwa. Okay you have offered so many big Uzi things. Najana. The other day. Ukabariki wa ndugu na wadada. You blessed brothers and sisters. Sasa unahesabu mimi. In fact why are you counting God all that? kazi zangu zisiendelee why kazi zangu mbona zisiendelee why are not my works progressing mbona nisione mafanikio why am i not seeing success eh hey, juzi na jana okay yesterday and the other day kule ukatoa kule ukatoa kule you gave there and you gave there and you gave there lakini leo anaagiza nini but what is he telling hey, you today aweza kuwa anakuagiza kazi ndogo yenyewe and maybe he's sending you to do lakini something very small lakini wadharao wasema makubwa nimeyafanya itakuwa hivi but then you're despising you're saying i've done so many big things about this ni nani naongea na wewe? Then who is talking to you? Timiza. Fulfill that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Leo anasema nini? Today what is he telling you? Kama utasikia sauti ya Bwana leo. If you are going to observe the voice of the Lord today, now tekeleze maagizo yote. And do exactly what is he commanding Lipo you. baraka hizi zitakujia. That the time all these blessings will come Mashambani, to you. Mashambani mjini. In the field at home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sauti ya Mungu huzungumza. The voice of God talks. Mimi nilizungumza. He talked to me. Na nikawa naiputi siku nyingi. And I was disobeying it. Kumbe hapo ndio kwenye uzima wangu. And that's where my life was. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ikaniponya. And I got the healing. Hata mtu mama pia. So even a mother also. Una mwanao ni mvulana mkubwa mwenyewe. You have your boy there. Boy child. Lakini hata miaka 30. Maybe she is 30 years of age. Kwa sababu ni mgonjwa. Now because he's sick. Anaogua homa. He's, he's having fever. Mahututi. Amen. Yeah, critical ill. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Wasema acha nikalale huko chumbani kwake. Then you say I'm going to sleep with him in his Niwe bedroom. Niwe So that I can nurse him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh hey, waenda chumbani kwake. Okay right you're going to his Ukalale bedroom. Ukalale naye huko. You're going to nurse him there. Niwe so that you can nurse him. Na wewe ni mtu mama wewe. And you are a mother. Amen. Amen. Shetani ataondoa ule ugonjwa usiku. So the devil will remove all the sickness from the night. Fofo. And you are deep sleep in deep sleep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Umelala? You are asleep. Amen. Amen. Migui kwa magharibi, 
The legs are on the west. Na mwingine yuko mashariki. And the other one is in the east. Pepo anamuamsha sasa. Now the devil wakes him up. Haya utaona. Now you see. Badala ya mwana huyu kupona. Instead of this boy getting healed. Ndio unaongeza unaongeza. The sickness increases. Kesho unalia tena. Tomorrow again you begin crying. Tusikoseshe watoto. Let us not mislead our children. Tusikoseshe. Let us not mislead them. Tusikoseshe iko. The sin of misleading is there. Haleluya. 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 Kule kwetu kule. At home there. Tulikoseka sana jamani. We were truly misguided. Hiyo nyumba moja. The same house. Baba yuko pale. The father is there. Mama yuko pale na mtoto mchanga. And the mother is there with her child. And we children also there. Tumelala. We are asleep. Amen. Amen. Marengene tunaenda winda usiku. Sometimes we go hunting during the night. Tunawinda mboga usiku. We are hunting for venison during the night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tunarudi. Then we come back. Wazazi wamelala. Our parents are asleep. Amen. Amen. Unafungua milango yenyewe haina chabi ndani. The, the, the doors are not locked from inside. Unafungua. So we just open up. Mnawashata. Then we light the lamps. Mama amelala. Our mothers are asleep. Amen. Amen. Hata hajifahamu. She is not aware about, about herself. Tulikosa kwa mengi. So we were misguided in so many things. Leo tuko humu. Today we are here. Tujihadhari. We have to be careful. Kuna hukumu iko. Because there is judgment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio ukiona. That's why when you see. Ukikii baraka za Mungu. You don't go to the blessings of God. Sikiliza leo. Then you listen today. Wacha kuhesabu siku. Do not count days. Wala miaka. Or maybe years. Wala tangu nitubu mimi mbona sioni. From the time I began repenting. Tangu nitumike mbona sioni wokovu. From the time I began serving. Why am I Leo 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 leo. Today today. Ni sauti gani naongea na? What voice is talking to you today? Anasema leo kama utaisikia sauti ya Bwana. He saying today if you're going to hear the voice of the Lord. Usifanye moyo wako mgumu. Do not harden your heart. Anasema hivyo katika Waebrania. He saying that in the book of hebrews tu somee hapo hapo tu you read us the same place itakuwa utakaposikia sauti ya bwana mungu wako kwa bidii kutunza kuyafanya maagizo yake yote ni kuagizayo leo ndipo bwana mungu wako atakapokutukuza juu ya mataifa yote ya dunia ya duniani na baraka hizo zote zitakujilia na kukupata usikiapo sauti ya bwana mungu wako and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee, and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The sin of misguiding. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Lakini wokovu huko. But salvation is there. Atakaye sikia sauti ya Bwana. Whosoever hears the voice of the Lord. Kaja kwangu ikaniokoa. It came to me and it saved me. Hata leo bado ni kitubu. And even today I'm still repenting. Sidi kutakasika. So that I may be sanctified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bado usiwe humu. So do not be here. Unatamaa. And you are despairing. Mimi na shida haiondoki. Why do I have a problem that is not Mungu akujalie. May God enable you. Utulie. that you become many of you are in a hurry you are not Kuzunguza giving god a chance you may be preached today na uondoke uende nyumbani and you go away home alafu tafakari hili neno and then go and meditate about this one amen amen wengine mna haraka many of you are in a hurry mna haraka many of you are in a hurry hallelujah hallelujah mna haraka you are so in a hurry na ubiriwa ni kweli i've been preached truly hata hujatafuna hujatafakari you haven't meditated about mna haraka ma roho ya ni hari Oh, these things are mine. But you may be preached and go back home. And then you go sit and meditate about the word. Then why has this word been spoken yes, this? Okay, God wants me salvation. Then you find that there is a voice coming to you. Amen. God wants me salvation. Then you find that there is a voice coming to you. Amen. Amen. He's telling you. 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 He's telling that is the word for certain. Because truly this is the voice of God. And you are certain about it. So when you come and confess oh, no, that or what that one, you find that salvation is coming to you. But many of you are in a hurry. You just want to speak your affairs so that the problem can go away from you. But then you are forsaking the voice of God. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hallelujah. 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 Then if whatever you are 
every day is true, then why are you not getting healed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, that you are forsaking the voice of God. You are forsaking the voice of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are forsaking the voice of God. That's why you may see God going to, to the field. And then they chew and chew. And when they come home, everyone is seated. Now they begin to meditate. They ruminate and chew again. Because they chewed leaves, swallowed them. So now you begin to ruminate them and you chew them properly. That is now meditating. Hallelujah. So even self people, you should also be meditating. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You should be people who meditate. But you have been preached that's okay. You are saying all that ah, are mine. Te. No, that is not the si case. It's not all there is Wale, one. Now you are living what can bring Shetani you salvation. The devil is a liar. Don't be in a hurry. Amen. Amen. Preachers are here from Monday to Enda Saturday. Go slowly and sit down and meditate about this one. The Spirit has spoken this one. Then you find a finger coming to you that I'm talking to you every day. I'm talking to you every day. I'm talking to you every day. Then you feel that when you kneel down this is true. You begin repenting from home. God forgive me. Because you are given for certain Truly this is now my sin. Now you take the step. Already the forgiveness has come. Now repentance is created in your heart. It's not a word that you are guessing about. It's not something that has to be sought here and there, no. You are so sure about that thing. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Oh, safe people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No. There is a stranger here who wants to be prayed for. Oh, where does she get the chance? In fact, she'll be fed up and go home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because people want to be Okay, you want to know the truth? I've spoken all my affairs to the pastor. But that's not the truth. It is not the judgment from God. The judgment of God, you are leaving it. For you to go away, the devil is telling you, okay, you have spoken everything. Then you see the problem is with you every day. Because you are forsaking what God is telling you. Because you do not meditate. You are in a hurry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it should be people who meditate the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the time you reach to salvation. Salvation is there. Forgiveness is also there. And blessings are also there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whosoever hears the voice of God. He says, when you hear, you'll be blessed at home and in the field. Let us finish up. When you read from the book of Matthew, there was one tree. There was one man who went to Jesus. He told him, big master, what should I do for me to inherit the kingdom of God? He's surprised. I've heard I've held all. I have held all that ought for a saved person. But then why am I not saved here and why am I not saved there? Amen. Amen. So he went to Jesus Christ. He told him, teacher, my good teacher. Then the, Jesus told him, there isn't a good teacher. It's only God. I'm not good, but the one who is good is God. So say whatever you want. He said, what do I do? So as to inherit the kingdom. Then the Jesus knew that I've got a disciple here. A disciple who is questioning, what do I do? Oh. Then I've got him. Then he told him, uphold the, the, the commandments. The commandments. Which, are the commandments? Which are the commandments? Because he was so sure here, he was upholding them. In fact, he was laughing. Which, which are the commandments? He was told, honor your father and mother, okay? Do not commit adultery. You love your neighbor, okay? He was so sure. 100%. 
fact, he was told all the commandments. In fact, he was laughing. He told Jesus Christ, I have done all that from birth. Then Jesus knew, I've got a disciple. Here. If you have been doing all this from birth, then what, if I tell you this is many, many, which is now the hindrance of his blessing, he will also uphold to it. Because if he has been upholding to all this, then if I tell him his hindrance also, I told him, okay, you have upheld all this. You. you. are a good disciple, thank you. Thank you because you are a good disciple. Okay, now one thing is remaining. What is it? Go and sell whatever you have. Give them to the poor. And then come follow me. Then you would be healed of whatever thing you have. Then he saw him withering and meditating. All that I have. Then his fighting was in offering to God. Amen. Amen. He's proper to be eaten by another person. No, you forgive me there. All. I go sell all. Then he saw him have no peace. He's now sad. Okay, Jesus knew. Okay. Now he's missing good because of this. Then he saw him going away slowly. Then Jesus never questioned him. Where are you going? He thought maybe he was going to relieve himself. But did he come back? Even today he hasn't come back. Even today Jesus is still waiting. Because you are never reading that he came back. He went for good. He said this, if this is a salvation, that they sell everything. No, you forgive me. He went for good. Even today Jesus is still waiting. Now look. You read the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. So, if you see there is a place you're not getting salvation, there is the voice of God, there is the voice of God. Amen. Amen. Do not be tired in you know, obeying the command. You will go to where God is. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. Okay, you know all. But the one loving brother is not with you. Your sin is you are beaten your heart. Your sin is you don't count others better. Amen. Amen. You know everything, but counting others better. Or maybe praising what has been done by another person. Amen. Amen. But you know all, but then you are so jealous. You are bitter about the success of another person. And Jesus said, rejoice together with those who are rejoicing. You have confessed all but this one now. You read for us. Matthew 19, verse 16. Tusome wafiki yetu huyo. Natazama mtu mmoja akamwendea akamwambia, "Mwalimu, nitende jambo gani jema ili nipate uzima wa milele?" Akamwambia, "Kwani kuniuliza habari za wema?" Aliye mwema ni mmoja, lakini ukitaka kuingia katika uzima zishike amri, akamwambia, "Zipi?" Yesu akasema, "Ni hizi." Usiue, usizini, usiibe, usishuhudie uongo. Waheshimu baba yako na mama yako na mpende jirani yako kama nafsi yako. Yule kijana akamwambia, "Haya yote nimeashika, nimepungukiwa na nini tena?" Yesu akamwambia, "Ukitaka kuwa mkamilifu, enenda ukauze ulivyo navyo, uwape maskini na utakuwa na zina mbinguni. Kisha njoo unifuate." Yule kijana aliposikia neno lile, akaenda zake kwa huzuni kwa sababu alikuwa na mali nyingi amekosa kuokoka he was missed salvation mm -hmm. and behold one came and said unto him good master what good thing shall i do that i may enter eternal life and he said unto him why callest thou me good there is none good but one that is god but if thou shall shall enter or if thou wilt enter into the into life Keep the commandments. He said unto him, Which? Jesus said, Thou shalt not do murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. 
Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack, what lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard the saying, he went away sorrowfully, for he had great possessions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, you listen masali kama unaweza wewe. He questioned the way you are also questioning. Maana hata wewe unaweza kuwa una maswali kama hayo. Because you may be having questions like this one. Ukitembea una maswali kule moyoni. When you are walking you have questions in your heart. Kani mimi niwe na lana gani kubwa? Then what cars do I have so great? Kani hao wanaofunguliwa wanafunguliwaje? Are those who are set free? How are they set free? Kama ni zaka natoa. If it is tithing I'm also tithing. Kani natoa. If this thanksgiving I'm also giving. Kwa ndugu na dada na dada nabariki. If it is blessing brothers and Wale sisters I'm doing gani mwingine nao ambao usifanye then what ministering have i not done ni maswali kama yule ndugu yetu yule those are questions like this brother lakini kuna sauti hapa but then there is a voice here inamwambia uze ulivyonavyo he's telling him tell whatever you have anakata and he's refusing hallelujah 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 Nengine kuna sauti hapo maybe there is a voice there makazi, sending you to do some work wasema, but you are saying no iwe ni hili ndio ulikitimiza ndio nitaona kokoka is it this one that when i fulfill i may be saved anasema he say utakaposikia sauti ya bwana mungu wako when you hear the voice of the lord you are god wabidi kutia anavyo kuagiza leo very diligently observing what he commands you today leo yatimize all that is commanding you today you fulfill them that's the time haya huyu ndugu yetu okay now this brother Anisema yote mimi nayashika hata He said that I've kept all those from my youth. Ni kwa moja. He was told that is one. Ulizonavyo. Go and sell all that Wako you have. Masikini. Give them to the Alafu poor. Unifuate. And then come follow me. Akauzunika. He began sad. Wokovu wake ukaishi. Then his salvation. Akakosa wokovu kwa hiyo. He missed salvation because of that. Amen. Amen. Kitabu yake ni kutolea Mungu. His fight was in offering to God. But when it comes to confessing yeah, sin, number one. he's number 1. Ukivuta kutolea Mungu. When you go to offering to God. Hapo ni vita. Now that is the fight. Hallelujah. 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 Akaondoka na huzuni. So he went away very sorrowfully. Then Jesus was surprised. Arudi. He's waiting for him to come Pengina back. Ameenda msalani akakujisaidia. Maybe, maybe he's going to the toilet to relieve himself. Papa leo bado anaongozwa na Bwana Yesu. Up to death Jesus is still waiting for him. Usiwe wewe unaongozwa hata leo. So you should not be the one who's being waited. Muombeni Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi. Let us go let us pray to God the founder mother. Atujalie mioyo itiyo hukumu za Mungu. That he may enable us to have hearts which obey the voice of God utio hukumu ya Mungu that may enable to have a heart that Mungu obeys the voice of God moyo, the God may enable to have a heart sauti ya Mungu that obeys the voice of God uti hukumu ya Mungu the heart that obeys the condemnation of God Mungu, if it is about ministering to God amen, amen. Mungu atupe kuti that God may give us to obey moyo, that he may enable us to have a heart kutimiza, which fulfills kuti, which obeys the judgment of God the judgment of God the voice of Mano God because our God, is our God is not a judge our God is a saving God he is the same yesterday and, and today and forever he is the God of saving and even today he is there to save you he is inside his servant Emmanuel Kiamzungu hallelujah, hallelujah. The blessings we prayed for are there. Mungu atakujalia na nanjalie. If God will enable you and enable me kuti, to obey bidia kuti, the diligence to obey sauti ya Mungu, the voice of God. Inavyo kujia inavyo nijia. Exactly how it comes to you and how it comes to Wokovu, me. Uko karibu na wewe. The salvation is very close to you. Hallelujah. 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 Uko. Salvation is there. Kabisa. Surely. Yule kijana yule that young man akaenda zake na uzuni. He went away very sorrowfully. He had been told the word to Kumebaki save him. Moja, there is one thing remaining. Go home and sell everything that you have. Maskini, Give it to the poor and come follow me. Yale utakayo, then whatever you want will also come to you. Aliondoka. Then he went away. Even you are also going away. 
You are going away from the voice of God. The devil has made you to be so lax in the word of God. You are forsaking that one which can bring you salvation. Now tell the devil you are a liar today afternoon. Amen. Amen. And let us pray to our God that he will enable us the spirit of obeying the judgment of God. Of obeying the voice of God. The diligence that may God enable us to have. Hallelujah. That, that he may heal you from listening to the voices of the devil. That he may enable you to hear the voice of the Lord God. That he may enable you to have the heart of diligence. Diligence in hearing the word of God. And he may forgive you of not taking care of the word of your father and your mother. Let us all stand up. And salvation is there. And we should be people who meditate the word of God. Hallelujah. Let us all close our eyes. Asante baba mungu wa mama mwanzilishi. Uliye ndani ya mtumishu wako emanu yekea mzungu. Tunakushukuru kwa yeno hili baba huku umpa mtumishu wako bure. Hakika wewe ni bwana Mungu wa walio mbali na walio karibu. Ulisema wokovu wa mwanadamu hauko mbali, uko karibu naye katika kinywa chake, lakini angalia shetani amewapa watu wa Mungu woga kusikiliza sauti za uongo, wanaacha ile maagizo yako, wanaacha sauti yako ya kuwaokoa, wanasikiliza sauti za uongo za shetani, woga ponya watu wako baba, woga wakutii sauti yako waponye kila mmoja mkubwa kwa mdogo kule kusikiliza sauti za uongo za shetani woga huo uwaponye umjalie kila mmoja kusikiliza na kutunza sauti ya kumuokoa moyo usikiao sauti na hukumu ya Mungu ile ya kumuokoa umpe kila mmoja bidii hiyo uwezo huo wa kutii wa kutimiza kila agizo kila hukumu itokayo kwako ili afikie mema Ulio muitia, ili afike wokovu, ulio muitia. Baba asante, na amini, waenda kutupa kila mmoja wetu. Uwezo huo, uwezo huo ndani ya mwe wa kila mmoja. Kuumbike, kuumbike, ule uwezo, wakuti sauti yako. Kama ulivyo mpa Ibrahim, kama ulivyo mpa Kurunulio, kama ulivyo mpa mwanzilishi wako, alitunza agizo, ndiyo mana tuko hapa leo, ndiyo mana tuko hapa leo, asante kutimiza, Asante kutenda. Hebu ndugu mpendwa. Oh my blood brother. Upendwae na bwana Yesu. Who is most loved by God. Upendwae na bwana Yesu. Who is most loved by Jesus Christ. Usiwe kama yule kijana yule. Do not be like that young man. Ndugu yule katika Biblia. That brother in the Bible. Naaman akachelewa kupona. Naaman also got late in healing. Maana alikosa kutia giso. Because he did not obey the command. Ana sauti na taratibu zake za kuombewa. He had a voice and his manner had that he wanted to be prayed for. Lakini alipoenda nyumbani, but when he went home, akashuhudiwa na wafanyakazi wake. He was testified by his workers. Akarudi kutafakari neno hilo. And he began to meditate about that word. Akaenda kutimiza giso. And he went to fulfill the command. Akatakasika. And he was clean. Hata wewe usikate tamaa. You also do not despair. Uchelewa mema yako Getting late in your good things is not bad. The devil has made you to be a coward. He has given you to listen to the voice of lies. You have gone back to confessing many curses. But the word to save you, the devil is giving you to forsake it. Now tell the devil you are a liar. You have given me to listen to false voices. You have put laxity in the word of God for many days. From today, that's the end of you. Tell the God of the founder, Mother, help me. From today, God created me the power to obey the voice of the Lord your God. To obey the voice of the Lord God. To obey the commandment of God. That I forsake going according to my understanding. Enable me to take your command. Enable me to hear your voice. So that I may go to the good thing that you called me for. So that way we have closed our eyes. Let us pray to our God. And he will do.
Another place Jesus is saying Salvation is not away, far away. It's very close to you. Right in your mouth. It's not in heaven that you may question who will go and bring it to me. But it is right in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again, I'm going to But I've told you, self people are in a hurry. They are so much in a hurry. They don't, they don't meditate. They don't give God a chance. Amen. Amen. They don't give God a chance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you sit down, if you can sit down, why am I not getting this? And this thing what you've spoken, you will find that the word for sure it is brought Hallelujah. To you. Hallelujah. 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 Because our God is not unjust. That you may come to the truth of God and don't get salvation. He is a saving God. He is together with us inside this servant. Amen. Amen. So, we have come to the end of our service. This word is for sure. I've seen it working in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm confessing so many things but there is a finger that you misguided sometimes I read from the book of Matthew if you misguide the young ones a rock will be tied around your neck and then you will be thrown into the deep but then no I'm repeating those curses I went this side and did that side amen amen but then condemnation is coming to you. This is the rock around your neck. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God enabled me. God enabled me. When he saw me. That my hope in healing is in the God of the founder mother. The judgment or condemnation came to me so strong. He enabled me to Hallelujah. agree. Hallelujah. I agreed. Hey. I haven't prayed like that day. The condemnation of repentance came to me so Amen. Amen. For about one hour, I have confessed with really. him. Preachers have prayed for me. But then remorsefully in my heart. Then I felt like time of God. In fact, forgive those who I misled. Even those who passed on, forgive them. You judge them with another sin, but the one that I misled, they forgive them. Then I feel some coldness in my body. And that was the forgiveness from the God of the founder mother. Amen. Amen. And even today, I continue saying, God forgive me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We give a hand clap to the God of the Founder Mother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gale, gale. Karibu Baba. Karibu Welcome, Baba. Welcome, Father. Welcome that you may speak to your people. Let us sit down, brothers. Let us sit down, people of God. The word is the one that you have heard. Very important message. And God exactly wants that. He doesn't want you to gather here in loss. That you may be gathered. And you go home having got something. And already you have got the benefit. My name is that greetings. Halaf. And then Kazi Ambayo Yikum Beleetu. The work that is before us. Ukusanya watu wa mungu. Gathering the people of God. Wasikiye nolake. That they may hear his word. Hiyo ndio kazi kubwa mungu ametupa. That is the great work that God has given us. Kwewe mujue kwamba. So you should know that. Wana tangaziwa waje kwa mkutano. They are told to come for the crusade. So stay overnight that the spirit of the spirit of lies may fall into you. 
na naamini Mungu atatusaidia and i believe god will assist us Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi yuko pamoja nasi because god of the founder mother is together with us atatutetea he'll defend us atakupigania he'll fight for us watu wakishakufika once they have come tujaribu sana kusaidia mtu kumrekesha mahala pa Mungu let us assist them everyone taking them back to the place of God. If we do that we shall be pleasing God. Bana dunia hii because this world kila mtu anatafuta chake. Everyone is seeking for his own thing. Lakini sisi tutafute cha Kristo. But let us seek that which belongs to Christ. Alisulubiwa kwa ajili yetu. Who was crucified for our sake. Mokozi alisulubiwa kwa ajili yetu. Christ Jesus was crucified for our sake. Na ndio nikasema zangu ni salamu. That's why he said mine are greetings. Alafu napo kazi ya Mungu and again the work of Tuwe god nayo. let us continue with the work of god Wageni wanakuja the visitors are coming wataka wapi watalala wapi where will they sleep and where will they stay una mattress yako ulete you have a mattress bring it to us lete tu you just bring it to us ili wageni wapate kutulia so that we may have all those things to be comfortable and hearing the word of god mattress yunayo you have a mattress nunua au lete you may buy it or may you bring them sema hii ni mattress za wageni and say this is mattress for the visitor ukifanya hivyo tutakuwa tunafanya vizuri if you do that you will be doing something good tena tutapendeza mungu and again we shall be pleasing god naamini tutafanya hivyo and i believe we shall do exactly that si maneno ya ya, ya kesho kutwa these are not things of the day ni maneno ambayo tukitoka hapa unaweza kaanza kaleta mattress moja this is something you can write do it right away from ah, here mbili. or maybe two mattresses imani iliyo na matendo faith that has action naamini ukifanya hivyo and i believe when you do that utapata mazuri you'll get something si kama watu hawezi kutumikia mungu it's not that people cannot serve god lakini wanaonyeshwa vitu but then they are shown things alafu wanatishika and then they are scared akaambiwa hebu hey, nenda nje ukaangalie kumekucha vipi he was told now go and see what we have come akaenda kukuta kuna jeshi kubwa and he went out and found there was a very big army kwa nyumba he came back home Sijui running tutafanyaje i don't know what we shall do hata wewe ndio wewe karudi mbio you can also come back running mungu amesema na wewe tayari lete mattress mbio already god has spoken to you that you bring a mattress utakimbia mbio urudi kwa nyumba but then you go running to your house sasa nitapata wapi then where do i get money haya turudini okay now go back kwa mungu mara yote inawezekana go back to god because all is possible amen amen ili wageni wetu wakija so that when our visitors come imani faith ni matendo tu is action brother imani ni matendo faith is action na tusiaje utakatifu and let us not forsake sanctification ukiaje utakatifu tumewezo once you forsake sanctification then we are disabled utakatifu unakaa pamoja na haki sanctification stays together with right mtu anakwambia neno wewe kesho narudia hilo hilo God is talking to you about something and tomorrow you repeating the Mana same thing haki, because the righteous hudumu hata milele will dwell forever kwa hivyo tuendeleeni na kazi so let us continue with the work kazi za mji huu the work of this home zinazoendelea which are in progress tunaona mji umebadilika pakubwa sana you see now the home is greatly changed pana fahamu kofu hapo ya kushukuru we need to clap for that <laughs> Kwa kazi hiyo because of that work tutapona magonjwa we shall be healed our diseases Kwa hivyo nashukuru Mungu kwa ujumbe ambao umesikia asubuhi ya leo so I'm grateful for the message you have heard this morning Utakapoisikia sauti ya Bwana Mungu wako once you hear the voice of the Lord your God tayari nilipotaja mambo ya vitanda mattress umesikia sauti ya Bwana and already when I talked about the mattresses and bed you have heard the voice of God Tufanyeni tufanyeni kazi upya so let us do the work of God afresh Tufanyeni kazi upya let us do the work of God afresh Kama ulikuwa na kazi mahala fulani fanya if you had some work somewhere do it Ulikuwa upate usingizi pata usingizi you are not getting some sleep get sleep now Ulikuwa huli ule you are not eating now you can eat Ulikuwa huchumbie uchumbie if you are not you cannot be able to, to engage you this cannot engage This is what the Bible These are all our works Amen Amen Utaolewa bila kuchumbiwa Will you be married without the engagement Wewe wewe usingizi una ngoroma you are in deep sleep Haya Snoring Mtu anakuja hapa nimekuoa tende Then somebody comes there says I'm marrying you Wewe uta ukiamuka okay, utaenda. When you wake up will you go? Utajua wewe usikuolewa huko. You know this is not marriage. Kwa hivyo tuko hapa kila kitu kikatendeke kwa jina la Bwana. So we are here and everything will be done in the name of the Lord.
Kwa hivyo nashukuru Mungu sana. So I'm so grateful to God indeed. Ambaye ametupa ujumbe huo. Was given us this message. Lakini but hebu soma hiyo kitabu. You read again the same Cha wafalume. The book of Kings. Mlango wa sita. Chapter 6. Najua mnakijua hiyo kitabu. Mstari wa 13 mpaka 15. The book of Mstari wa 15. Hata asubuhi na mapema mtumishi wake yule mtu wa Mungu alipoondoka na kwenda nje kumbe panajeshi la watu na farasi na magari wameuzingira mji ule mtumishi wake akamwambia wale wetu bwana wangu tufanyeje akamjibu usiogope maana walio pamoja nasi ni wengi kuliko wale walio pamoja nao amen amen nashika hiyo maneno you hear that watu wanakimbia na kurudi people are running and coming back ametuma milioni moja he have been sent to bring a million anakimbia hata akifika hapo then you run and when you reach here ah jameni oh my dear sitaweza kutoa mimi maana na madeni mengi i will not be able to give that because i'm so much in debt aya okay neno lasema the word says akaambiwa usiogope The word says he was told do not fear. Tulionao ni wengi kuliko wale unaoona. The ones we have are so many than the ones we have seen. Kwa hivyo ulipo una watu wengi wamekusunguka. So where, ulindwa na Mungu. Where you are you are surrounded by so many people. Na baraka hizo ziko hapo 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 ulipo hapo. And all the blessings are around you Usi where you are. Okay. Do not run away. Simama hapo ka hapo. Stand there stay there. Na Mungu atafanya kazi kubwa. And God is going to do some great work. Lakini yeye alitoroka akarudi nyumbani. But he ran away and went to the house. Mhubiri akamwambia. Then the preacher told Hebu funga macho. You close our eye, your eyes. Akaomba ombi la namna hii. And he prayed a prayer this way. Bwana mfungue macho apate kuona. Lord, open up his eyes that he may be able Kye to see. Macho. Then do you want your eyes to be open? Utafunguliwa. Your eyes will be open. Na utaona. And you shall see. Yale ulikuwa huyaoni. Exactly the things you are not seeing. kabisa ndugu zangu sure my brothers maneno haya mliyoyasikia hapa so the word that you have heard here haiendi bure they are not going in vain yanafanya kazi usiku they, na mchana they are working day and night lakini but wengi huogopa many people are fearing yuko pamoja na mtu wa Mungu kabisa muombaji he is together with a prayerful man of god lakini anaona kuangamizwa but then he is seeing distraction kama anaona kuangamizwa if you are seeing distraction huyo mhubiri amefika mahala akasema and the preacher got to a point of saying wahubiri wako hapa preachers are always here karibu karibu wiki nzima the whole week unaweza ukapeleka mashauri yako you can go there to be counsel nasikia mara nilikuwa na pamoja na nyinyi hapa i heard because i was together with you here kwa hivyo so msiogope do not fear msiogope do not fear baraka zile unazoziona the blessing that you are seeing zitafika kwako will eventually come to you it's not evil things mazuri atakuja kwako but good things will come to you na mkiamini hilo itakuwa hivyo and once you believe that it will be exactly that nimeshukuru mungu sana so i'm so grateful to god indeed ndugu zetu our brothers dada zetu watoto wetu our sisters our children sisi tumelala wao wako barabarani we were asleep but they were on the travel paka wamefika mji wa mariakani until they reach the home of mariakani hii ni shukurani kubwa sana we must be grateful for this ni wana kwaya hao those are choir members sisi tuko itandani wao wako barabarani and they are on the, on the road Mungu amanzilisha kawa pamoja nao but God of the founder mother was together with them hata leo saa hii tunao and even now we are together with them hilo ni jambo la kushukuru Mungu sana That's something what thanking God tena sana tena sana what thanking God Tukifika hapo so going to that point na mengi wa kuambia I have so many things to tell you lakini hayo machache but with those few remarks naamini Mungu ameanza kazi I believe God has begun the work kazi tena nzuri very good work lakini hayo machache ambayo nimewapa but with the few remarks that I've given you tukishika hayo na kuenda kwa hayo when we are put to that and all that you are sikia and all that you are hearing Mungu atatukuzwa then God will be glorified Mungu atainuliwa God will be uplifted kwa hivyo nashukuru Mungu sana so I'm so grateful to God indeed nimetangulia kuambia I began by saying kwa sababu ya kazi ya mji huu of the work of this home inataka watendakazi we need workers 
tufanyeni kazi so let us do the work ni kama tunaanza kufanya kazi like we are beginning to do the work na tukifanya kazi namna hiyo and once we work that way mungu atafanya mambo makubwa katika maisha yetu god will do great works in our lives ambayo si ya kawaida extraordinary thing hebu tusimame so let us all stand up tunamishe vichwa vyetu we bow down our heads pastor zia atufungie ibada kwa maombi pastor zia for a closing word of prayer oh hallelujah hallelujah baba ninakushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu mbingu na ishi. Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi katika mtumishi wako bwana nina kushukuru mwokozi mwema kwa ibada njema ambayo umetayarisha bwana mchana wa leo baba nina kushukuru maana uliona bwana hatuna lile neno kutii kesha bwana roho ya kutii umetuumbia bwana Yesu roho ya kutii kile aliyekulilia bwana naamini umempa roho ya kutii baba ni asante tuma ifungo ibada hii mikono ni mwako na hivi sasa tuelekeza tena mikono ni mwako tazama nyumba ya mwanzilishi wako ukaifanikisha bwana ukaibariki ukaifunike na utukufu wako bwana na nyumba ya mtumishi wako bwana ukaifunike na utukufu wako bwana tunapofumukana Mungu wa mwanzilishi mkono wako bwana ukawe juu ya kila mmoja ukatulinde bwana ukatupeleke kwa amani mali tulipotoka Baba ni asante ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo mokozi wetu. Amen. Salamu kwa mami. Mpeni chombo mama. Nina wasalimu katika jina la Bwana Yesu. Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. Amen.